today I will tell you the story of uh, my second uh, experience with what with, with I believe it was uh, something divine but in this one it's more like a lucid dream um, but before I start that I'm gonna explain to you uh, about DMT um, DMT is I believe a chemical a plant has that helps you to hallucinate or to have out-of-body experiences um, we also as humans have the DMT in our systems for example our, our lungs our brain has DMT and another part of, of our body has DMT I will post a uh, image of uh, what is DMT and where do we have it stored naturally as well so um, now that I got through that I will tell you this uh, lucid dream that I had uh, when I was in uh, living in another part of of America my continent of course um, so it starts by um, I almost being um, kidnapped I was about 18 years old I was about to be kidnapped kidnapped by some individuals that I really do not know probably um, organ traffickers probably yes um, kidnappers for money uh, who knows you know and so I somehow managed to evade these uh, kidnappers I fought them uh, they uh, hold holded me quite uh, a while in the truck but I managed to uh, I really can't say more because um, I did uh, eventually found a way to escape and it's a violent way and I believe if I say it in video uh, probably I will have Sauron's orcs in my uh, doorsteps but you probably can imagine how uh, well I managed to escape nonetheless I don't know if those two survived though it was two kidnappers I don't know if they survived for, from my idea of escaping them from my brilliant idea I will say and uh, so I told my parents about it since I over there lived with them and uh, they sent me to another place a place is a, a forest area uh, it was a cabin and I was set over there for two months uh, for the things to calm down more uh, because we didn't know if those kidnappers had, had other ally, allies that probably wanted to avenge them or wanted to uh, finish the job against me and so uh, I eventually uh, was living for two months in an unknown location, a uh, forest area in a cabin. So one day I was uh, reading about Odin, reading about the gods, my side of the European heritage. Uh, <clears throat> and I was just studying Odin, I believe, and also other gods like uh, <coughs> Thor, Frey, um, Baldur, but in that time, of course, I didn't know the meaning of uh, these gods or the symbols that that they represented. I was pretty much in a uh, lit literal believing of the gods, you know, uh, because I didn't know knowledge about them. I was just getting started. So, um, 
while I was there, I had a dream. And I dreamed myself in a, walking in a kind of mountainish area. And this area smelled quite good. Smelled, smelled like um, fresh grass, uh, watered um, grass. There was, there was also the sound of a um, waterfall. Uh, the ambi ambience was pretty, pretty well natural, pretty well uh, divine, I dare say. And uh, I kept walking until I managed to arrive in a uh, type of uh, building. Well, not building, but it was like a cabin, but like a really ancient cabin like I'm talking about like kind of like a uh, Scandinavian house those are uh, long houses and there, then there was this um, construction kind of building with like pr really precious stones uh, stones that you could never see here on earth and so I managed to uh, get a peek inside and I saw this uh, this woman standing uh, in the entrance of this uh, uh, building made of precious rocks. She wore a white dress like an elf or elf and as well um, like a midwife, you know. She had uh, like precious uh, color or um, necklace of precious stones. Really, uh, and I say precious stones because again, I never have uh, seen stones that be beautiful, that um, awesome. And so. Uh, this uh, woman looked at me and said welcome welcome to folk folk bank or more likely the hall of the uh, guest because you live and go she gave me her hand and you know uh, I greet her as well with a hand and I saw her skin and her skin was all uh, shiny all like this is not real, this is a, probably a spirit, a, uh, a, a precious, uh, precious experience I, I, I was having. And uh, she looked at me and said, I am Freya. And I was in, really in shock. I could not believe well, what I was hearing. Uh, I believe I knew I was dreaming, uh, I don't know, but it was really realistic. More realistic, I believe, than a lucid dream. But at the same time, it was a lucid dream, I believe. Uh, so she greeted me and took me to this hall of other uh, warriors. There was this um, uh, young warriors, old warriors eating drinking but not uh, not like in in golden seats or in golden uh, like they tell us in the sagas but rather it was really simple uh, simple um, kitchen I believe but a large one many warriors eating and uh, I remember that she told me, well, not, not telling me, but she told the other warriors that it was time to fight. And all stood up right quick and uh, leave the, uh, the hall and wondered, I believe it was in a big, uh, big field. Um, 
And so I, I asked her if I was to go over there as well. And she told me, no, you're coming with me. And so I followed her to the uh, to the hall, the hall of precious, made of precious stones. And when I was walking over there, I saw the waterfall. The waterfall was a really precious uh, water, like really, really clear water. It was made of, uh, it was really clear water and uh, never seen water that clean in, in the real life, in, the, in, in this world. Um, and so uh, I lift my head up and saw this other type of castle, but not really a castle, it was, uh, it's, it's really hard to, to describe it, but I believe it was Valhol because the the building castle, however you want to call it, was made of um, the top was made of golden shields, and in them there were like eagles flying around it, um, as well as. Um, it felt like really a peaceful place and I was really surprised and I believe um, over there it was kind of a bad boy <coughs> excuse me and so um, I followed Freya where she wanted me to go and she led me to this um, to this place of many weapons, I believe there were swords, axes, uh, arrows, bows, you name it, all ancient weapons. Uh, she gave me a uh, sword, an Uthberth, with a blue ribbon in it, and as well a hand axe, combat axe, and then she as well told me come follow me again I follow her to this uh, to this fountain she had a, a fountain apparently where she saw everything what's what was going on in the world so I followed her and uh, she, she she made this uh, thing with her hand and I could I could saw um, those two kidnappers that tried to, of course, kidnap me. And she said, they are looking for you. You must be ready to fight. And of course, when she said that, I kind of like go down, like laying down like this. And then just going down really fast. And I heard this uh, thing in my ears, like uh, the noise um they make in the movies apparently when they uh, when they see someone fall you know like like that type of, type of noise like wind going uh, really hard in your ears while you, while you're falling and then I saw this white light and boom I was awake again and I was quite in shock then that same day I decided to investigate what what was this so I first investigated um, because I really didn't know the aspect of Freya or more likely uh, the symbol representation of Freya and so I looked down in Google of Pendant of Freya I was hoping to find a kind of a stone thing like she had and for my surprise I found this image exactly this image is how I saw her in my dream and I shit you not that I have never in that time saw this image before I uh, indulged into investigated my ancestors uh, past from Europe 
and I was quite in shock when I found out that as well as the cabin uh, I don't know if I can find the image if I did I will post it uh, as well and it was kind of like that the image but as well um, I kind of uh, kind of um, thought it was a small place but when you enter it in of course the lucid dreaming it was this big place a big big uh, hall and I remember when I was falling from apparently folk bank or that uh, hall to the real world um, there were other warriors falling with me young ones I believe 15 16 years old probably the max one it was like around uh, 17 18 I'll, I'm really not sure but they were quite young warriors and they were falling I fought first and they followed them and I believe this is uh, a symbol that since Freya is known as the mother of the elves meaning the mother of the ancestors she is the one that that awaits you that puts you in your path as well as um, the the warriors falling with me uh, they were my ancestors my past lives uh, that's that I became with that uh, understanding with that um, interpretation of that lucid dreaming now I don't really think it was literal but again the evidence is like really damn clear like I have never and I promise you never saw this image of Freya and when I typed on Google Freya's pendant I found that pendant and specifically yeah specifically uh, that symbol of Freya exactly the same like I saw her in my dream or as well you saw in my uh, profile picture of this YouTube channel exactly the same I shit you not and I was quite surprised that's why I, I have this uh, great um, attraction in a heritage way in a cultural way with Freya uh, because of my ancestors probably traced a long long time to to Scandinavia because I have Spanish and French ancestry in my in my tree and I, I was quite as well surprised of course um, many was other stuff it was just a lucid dreaming which again I do believe it was lucid dreaming but however that part of Freya being specifically the same as the image you're seeing just blows my mind and then I have never saw that image when I was that age or when I was just investigating about the gods never uh, that's why I believe that she's the one that started me in this um, in this path uh, she she and my ancestors are the Divya are the ones that guide me uh, so yeah I believe that will be all for today uh, thank you for watching and of course see you guys later keep fighting this war because uh, this Abrahamic religion will eventually fall See you later.